it's taken almost a year now to create. A webinar software that not only looks great, but doesn't struggle from the delays of Google Hangouts. A system run on Amazon service that's finally available to the public at an affordable price. Run a webinar is finally here to help you run webinars easily with our new Amazon and Firefox browser technology. You can now create webinars in seconds and decide whether you want to record them. Choose or create your own landing page within our easy to use dashboard. Schedule unlimited amounts of webinars and send out email notifications to everyone who registers for your webinars. Start webinars from within our dashboard whenever you're ready. No need for hangouts. You can start your webinar by clicking Start Webinar. Engage with your audience live on the webinar in real time. Answer questions or broadcast messages at will. Then, when you close the webinar down, Run a Webinar automatically creates a replay for you to send out to your attendees. I'm Sam Backer, and along with my friend Rohit Shah, I'm excited to introduce you to the next generation of webinar software. Welcome to Run a Webinar. Hey Sam here, okay, if you wanna see what Run a Webinar can do live, how a webinar actually runs and how it works, that's what this video is for. So join me on my computer right now, I'm gonna walk across, and we're actually gonna set up a webinar and see what the experience is like for you um, setting up the webinar, and what it's like for a user who's actually on the webinar watching this webinar presentation. Let's get to it. Okay, so when we run webinars, we do it from our computer, and we will often be presenting to over 100 people on a webinar, and it's a great opportunity to not only connect with your audience, but make a lot of money as well. So webinars, are really easy to set up. We've made them really easy to set up. So all you need to do is go into run a webinar and set up your webinar, then make sure that you're on your computer at the time that you start the webinar and the software will do everything else. It'll notify um, that your attendees should jump on now, should join because the webinar is about to go live. It'll also notify them three hours, one hour, 30 minutes before if you really want to, to make sure people are actually getting live on your webinar. So let's do a quick simulation right now as if I'm doing a live webinar to my audience right now with run a webinar and you can see um, first of all what it, the experience is for me and then what the experience is for my um, attendees or your attendees once you've actually started using the software. Let's get to it. Okay, so let me create this. First of all, um, I'm gonna create a webinar on my computer right now. Okay, so to start a webinar, we're gonna create webinar and we're gonna go click on, um, first of all, how to make money from webinars. So it could be, you know, how to get more fit. It could be, you know, a lot of fitness brands use these webinars. It could be, you know, how to um, run a business better or, you know, it could be for any type of niche. And then we click record. This is really important because um, with this software, unlike other softwares, it actually makes sure that you decide whether you're gonna record or not before the actual webinar starts. So when the webinar is happening, you don't need to worry about getting to click record, it's already happened when you start running your webinar. Then from there, you need to choose a template. Now this is slightly improved, when you get in here you'll see a range of different previews of templates, but for now we're just gonna select a random template. You can create a template or you can actually use a custom template, so you can actually create a custom template if you wanted to um, do that as well. Now let's edit some things about this template. We can first of all start by editing the logo here. This logo can be edited by clicking up in the browse section and then going through to our logo that we want to add and actually adding that logo here. Once we've added the logo, it changes and we can edit any component of this page. Say for example, if we wanted to use a YouTube video that we have, so we could go to YouTube. We could search for youtube.com. We could go across to youtube.com and we could actually grab a um, YouTube video. So I'm just gonna go Sam Becker, run a webinar. Here we go, we found a YouTube URL. We can then add that video into our webinar as you're seeing right now on my screen. So we can go video, we can add that video, then we can add and edit the text as we want. So we could edit this text down here by saying um, how to make money with webinars. As you can see, I'm typing how to make money with webinars. And you'd wanna spell it right, obviously. And you can edit any part of this, you can say, 14th March, you can edit the different components of this, you can edit your bullet points, and so on. So you can, you get the point, you can edit any of this. So let me complete this right now. 
Okay, so I've completed our registration here. I've added in a Facebook social URL right here as well. And then we'll click next step. This is where we're able to now customize our webinar. So we're able to select the date that we want to run the webinar on. It could be, say, the 16th of March. We could set it to, um, say, eight o'clock, 8 p.m. We can click done. Then we can add a description to this webinar. So this description is going to be notifying people that register for the webinar what it is actually about. This webinar is about making money with webinars. We can then go ahead and we can enter in our email sequence. So we can decide whether we want an email to go out four hours before, three hours before, two hours before, one hour before, or 30 minutes before. Usually a great sequence is five hours before, then one hour before, then 30 minutes before. So we can actually say, um, the webinar is about to begin. Make sure you're registered through, uh, or make sure you are coming on at 8 p.m. EST. So we can say that, a notification email is gonna go out, it's gonna have that message in it, it'll have a join link as well. Um, you could say, are you prepared for the webinar happening today? Um, make sure you join us at 8 p.m. EST. Spots are filling up for the webinar. Make sure you jump on 10 minutes early to reserve the best place. We've done that. We can charge for the webinar if we want to, so people actually have to pay us. And when we're ready, once we're finished, we click finish. Now our webinar is created. So what we need to do then is we need people to join our webinar. We need people to register for our webinar. So the way to get people to register is actually by using our registration link that we created. So Run a Webinar creates an automatic uh, registration link. This is it right here. It has a video. It can th These videos can be auto-played. It's got all the details we entered in. And when they're ready, they can actually enter in their name and they can enter in their details. When they click submit, we can either redirect them to a thank you page, or we can actually have them say, or it, say, it says on the, the webinar itself, registered successfully. Now what's happened is that person that I registered um, has received a notification email with the join link, and the email looks like this. So this is the email that they've received right now. It has all the details, it has a join link, and at 8 p.m. EST, if they click that join link, they're able to join the webinar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show, start the webinar right now. So um, I'm clicking start webinar on my computer, as you can see right here, and that's actually gonna start up the webinar. Okay, so we're starting up our webinar right now. Now, it's um, first going through the process and you have to start it in Firefox. So make sure that when you're doing this, that it's started in Firefox. If it's started in Firefox, it's going to load up, download the software that it needs, and it's going to allow you now to run the live presentation. So it's connecting to the server right now, it's loading the different modules. It'll take probably about you know 30 seconds to a minute max to actually go ahead and start our webinar. First is going to test the microphone. The webinar, this will change, um, as you can see right here, it's probably changed by now. And then you can actually start sharing your screen, sharing your webcam, uh, or actually sharing your microphone. Now, I clearly wanna share my microphone, so I'm sharing my microphone right now with my audience. I wanna also share my desktop screen, so I'm going to be able to share my desktop right now as well. And uh, I'll just click allow on that, click next. And uh, yes, and now I'm gonna share my desktop device. So this is what I'm seeing from my side of the webinar right now. Okay, I'm going to go into full screen. It's showing my full screen recording. When I click full screen, it's going to have to wait a second. Depending on what kind of computer you've got, it'll have some sort of different security setting. And you basically just need to approve that um, security that the webinar is fine to run. I click accept. I click run to okay the security. Yes, it's okay to do this. And then my screen is presented on this preview right here. So you can see my webinar now has successfully started. What I would do it usually when I'm starting a webinar is I'd start with a PowerPoint presentation of some sort. So I've pre prepared a PowerPoint presentation right now about how to run, um, you know, welcome to run a webinar. So the presentation is live right now. It's going, it's started. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Um, you know, this is what it looks like from my side. I've got my slide presentation here. If I do get questions, all I need to do is go back to our Firefox presentation presentation here. I can see the chat here. I can say welcome to the webinar 
and everyone can actually see that the webinar is happening, all right? People can get that notification, and as people join, I can see them here. If I click this button, it means that I can make them the presenter as well. Everyone will have this button um, attached, and I'll be able to make them the presenter. These chat questions here will be private. They're only shared between me and the user as well. All right, let's go and see what it looks like on someone else's um, computer. Okay, so as you can see, we've got um, my webinar running. I've now set it to this screen right here. This is the live webinar that's happening. You can see blue around the edges. That means that the live webinar is happening. You can see that. Um, blue means it's actually recording my screen right now. So I'm running the webinar from this computer right now. Now let's go ahead and um, have a look at, a, uh, at what it looks like on for the user, someone that's actually jumped on the webinar. Follow me now. So I'm just gonna check now on this computer, see if we can join up to the webinar. So, if you look at my screen, you can see here, welcome to the webinar. This is the email that Eva has received. I registered her, I registered this computer earlier. So it says, this is the webinar link that she needs to join on. Let's click that webinar link and see what happens. Now, as you can see, um, it's starting the webinar. So it's starting the webinar right now. Now you'll be able to see that um, I'm now going live onto the webinar, and this is what it looks like for her. So um, we're just gonna close that. This is what it looks like. So she's got a way of communicating with me, saying, uh, hi. She can message me, and she can also see my message, and she can see as my screen changes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other room, and I'm actually gonna type on this, and you'll be able to see on this computer right now what it's going to look like. So we are live. Hello, thanks for coming. Okay, so as you can see, um, what I did is I just basically um, went ahead, I, I started the webinar for Eva, and um, she was able to log on, and as you can see on the computer as I typed live, it actually did that live. Now I can record my browser, PowerPoint presentations, any sort of recordings through this webinar system I can do and make changes as I want live on this webinar. So people will be able to listen to you on your webinars, they'll be able to watch your presentations, you'll be able to sell on your webinars and make money um, with Runner Webinar.